The GTC4 Lusso is described by Ferrari as a sublimely refined, stylish car that will get its occupants to even the most extreme destinations in superb comfort, relishing challenging twisty roads and long straights alike. That's lucky then because what we've got planned for this one will include three days of relentless driving, a lot of fuel and the most hostile weather conditions known to man. Our journey starts in West London, after which we'll navigate the entire length of England before crossing the Scottish border en route to our overnight destination of Perth. We'll then take the car to the Scottish Highlands to the Glenshee Ski Centre for a bit of winter fun before we head back down into England to a great part of the world, the Lake District. And after all that, it'll be time to head home again. So we are about three hours around 170, 180 miles into our epic Scotland road trip. First impressions of the GTC4 Lusso. It is awesome, it is so comfortable. Everything about the car just exudes class and the seats are so comfortable. I just love everything, it's good. First update, happy boy. miles in uh, we are not far from the Lake District a very nice part of the world and soon we're gonna be in Scotland so I've got to be uh, practicing my Scottish accent so I've got to start practicing a route new so I can you know fit on with the Scottish people <laughs> comfortable but now my back is starting to ache I think I need to walk around I'm an old man now I can't take it like I used to when I was when I was a young buck it's actually really nice to get out of London get out of the south of, of England and uh, I really go explore what's effectively on our doorstep <laughs> As the night sky descended upon us, we parked at our hotel in Perth. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is 500 miles from London to Perth in the GTC4 Lusso. An incredible cruiser, haven't even stretched its legs. I don't think I've gone above 3000 RPM in any gear, or maybe in the first and second gear, but it's been super comfortable and it's been super awesome. And tomorrow is where the real fun starts. The next morning we set off for Glenshee. What we didn't know was that a 100 mile an hour blizzard would be waiting for us. I've made it to my final Scottish destination of the glorious Glenshee Ski Resort. I've got the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. I have a sledge. So what do you say? We go and we do this. Done. With my back battered and my ass feeling like mashed potato, I decided to take the GTC4 Lusso back onto the roads to see what it was really capable of. For safety though, I made sure to uh, check how much traction there was first. Oh, 
Okay, enough science, let's hit it. Let me just start by saying that I love my job. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody to the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. We've got a naturally aspirated V12, 670 horsepower. This is the second Ferrari that I've ever driven in my life. There's nothing bad about this as a daily driver. It seats four people. It is super comfortable. It is one of the fastest cars in the world. It sounds absolutely incredible. It's a joy to drive. It does donuts. You can pull someone on a sled. Did I mention the noise? Oh, I think I did. So we're in the Glenshee region of Scotland. If you guys fancy going skiing, and if you live in England or in Scotland or in Wales, why bother going abroad? Come somewhere here, have some of the best roads in the world, and then go skiing or snowboarding and just have an absolute ball. If you can, take a Ferrari like this one, because I can tell you, it's a bit of all right. There are no drawbacks except for the uh, thirst that it has for fuel. But hey, if you can afford £280,000, which is what this car costs, then filling up every week or so, £120 is nothing. Everything is just at your fingertips. This car is geared towards a true petrolhead, someone who loves driving. This is the perfect car. And I've spoken to the guys as well, and. They've said that this has been the hardest shoot we've ever been on because we've got gusts of 100 miles an hour. What do you guys say? We go somewhere a little less hostile and a little more British. And here we are, we're in the Lake District. I've got Oldswater Lake next to me. We've got beautiful British weather. And you know, I've had about, I don't know, 10, 12 hours to reflect on this car. And there is nothing about this that I don't like. I know it's quite cliche to say that it's the perfect supercar, but how can anything be the perfect supercar if you can't fit your mates in, if the boot isn't big enough to go grand touring, this is it. This isn't a master of some trades and a jack of others. This is literally the master of all trades. Now you guys know, because I've said it time and time again, I'm not really the biggest fan of supercars. I'll probably never buy a supercar because I like to live within my means, but driving this, it makes me want to work harder and it makes me want to be able to afford something like this. I know it's £280,000 and you can buy a house, but it is just, it's the perfect car. God, I sound so cliched and bleh. It makes me a little bit sick how in love I am with this. If you're thinking, what shall I do this weekend? Then just go on a road trip with your friends. Take it somewhere like Scotland or somewhere to the Lake District like this and just enjoy your car. Now I know you guys probably don't have a Ferrari yet, but just enjoy being free and enjoy the fact that your car is working for you, it's working with you and it's taking you places that you've never explored before. And in a car like a Ferrari, that, that is just magnified. I really hope that this video not only inspires you to love a car like this because it's incredible, but that it also gives you a bit of a sense of urgency to jump in your car and just go explore.
Like Ferrari promised, the GTC4 Lusso is sublime and one hell of a Grand Tourer. And yes, while you can get around 300 miles from a tank, it loves a drink of the good stuff. In fact, just over 1,000 miles of mixed driving set me back around £400 in top quality fuel, meaning I'd spent 40p a mile. So was it worth it? I'll let you decide. Now I will admit, it hasn't really been a boyhood dream of mine to drive any supercar, including a Ferrari. But now, on the Stelvio, in the 488 GTB, I kind of think that I've had a terrible childhood. <laughs>